Hello guys, I'm Nathan and welcome to Channel Tutorial. By the way, kung bago ka dito, i-click mo lang yung subscribe button, like, at pati na yung bell button para ma-notify ka kapag may mga bago tayong uploads. Ito ang part 3 ng ating differentiation of trigonometric functions exercise 4.2. Ang part 3 natin ay 13, 15, 17, and 19. Okay, number 13. Pero ang time y is equal to second cube 2x minus 3 second 2x. Okay. Derive na natin ito directly. Meron tayong y prime is equal to 3 second. Okay. 3 minus 1 ay 2. Okay. 2x. Multiply by the derivative of second 2x. 2 second 2x tangent 2x minus the derivative of this part 3 2 second 2x tangent to x Okay Simplify lang natin by factoring 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 Pero tayong second 2x tangent to x At ganito rin sa part na to Kaya i-factor out natin ang 6 second 2x tangent to x Multiply by Ang matitira dito ay Second Squared 2x Minus 1 Dahil na factor out ang buong part na to. Okay. Ito ay Pythagorean relation by trigonometry identity. So, y prime is equal to 6 second 2x tangent 2x. Okay. Ang equivalent value na ito ay tangent squared 2x. Okay. I-multiply lang natin ito dito. So, y prime is equal to 6 second 2x tangent 2x cubed. Ito na ang answer ng ating number 13. Ang equation ng ating number 15 ay y prime, I mean y, is equal to negative 3 over 5 cotangent x over 3 raised to 5 plus cotangent x over 3 raised to 3 minus 3 cotangent x over 3 minus x. Okay? I-drive na rin natin to directly at uh, makinig at manood na rin para maintindihan dahilan medyo nakakalito ito. Okay, y prime is equal to negative 3 over 5, a constant. So, multiply by 5, cotangent. 5 minus 1 is 4, by x over 3. Multiply by the derivative of cotangent, x over 3 is negative cosecant squared x over 3. Multiply by the derivative of the angle is equal to 100 okay plus the derivative of this part ay 3 tangent 3 ay 3 cotangent okay 3 minus 1 is 2 x over 3 multiply by the derivative of cotangent ay negative cosecant squared x over 3 times 1 third okay minus 3 Okay, derivative of cotangent ay negative cosecant squared x over 3 multiply by, multiply by 1 third again minus the derivative of x ay 1 Simplify lang natin, meron tayong 5 over 5 it means the value will become 1 Ganun din sa negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 third it will become 1 again So ang natira ay y prime is equal to cotangent raised to 4 x over 3 this will become positive cos second squared x over 3 plus, okay, 3 multiplied by 1 third i1. We have negative here and positive. It means the product of the two signs i negative. Okay, this will become 1. Ang natira i cotangent squared x over 3 multiplied by cos second squared x over 3. Okay, we have positive, I mean negative multiplied by negative i positive. 3 over 3 i1 ang natira ay cos second squared x over 3 minus 1 okay kung makikita natin dito ay ito ay pwedeng gamitan ng kung makikita natin dito pwede natin isab ang part na to by associative law for addition and uh, trigonometric identity by Pythagorean relation ibig sabihin lalagyan natin ng parenthesis yan saka natin isasab so, y prime is equal to cotangent 
4 x over 3 multiply by cos cat squared x over 3 minus cotangent squared x over 3 multiply by cos cat squared x over 3 plus ang equivalent value nito ay cotangent squared x over 3 okay pero tayong cotangent na dalawa dito dalawa rin dito at apat dito it means na pwede natin itong i-factor out so y prime is equal to cotangent squared x over 3 multiply by cotangent uh, raised to 2 x over 3 Okay, multiply by the cos second squared x over 3 minus ang natira dito ay cos second lang cos second squared x over 3 plus 1 sa part na to ay pwede na naman tayong gumamit ng associative law by factoring out the negative here at Pythagorean relation again para gawin yan ay ganito y prime is equal to cotangent squared x over 3 multiply by cotangent squared x over 3 cos second squared x over 3 okay if factor out natin yung negative sa so part na to so negative ito ay magiging positive cotangent cos second squared x over 3 ito ay magiging negative 1 okay y prime is equal to cotangent squared x over 3 all multiply by cotangent squared x over 3 times cos second cos second squared x over 3 minus the equivalent of cos second squared x over 3 minus 1 i cotangent squared x over 3 so in this part pwede naman natin i-factor out ang cotangent at cotangent so kapag finactor out natin tong part na to ay imumultiply natin dito kaya magiging cotangent raised to 4 x over 3 so y prime is equal to cotangent raised to 4 x over 3 Okay, ang matitira dito ay cos second squared x over 3 minus dito ay 1. Ang gagawin na naman natin ay isab ang equivalent value again dito ang part tulad lamang dito. So y prime is equal to cotangent raised to 4 x over 3 multiply by cotangent squared x over 3 as the value or as the equivalent value of this part. So multiplication lang rin yan para simplify. So, y prime is equal to cotangent. Okay, 4 plus 2 ay 6. X over 3. Ito na ang value ng ating number 15. Okay, number 17. Ang equation ng 17 natin ay sign with an angle of x plus y is equal to x plus y. Remember, ang instruction na binagay dito ay find the dy dx or in short, find the y prime. I-derive na natin ang equation. Okay, ang derivative ng sine ay cosine x plus y. Okay, derivative ng angle. Ito ay 1 para sa x at y prime para sa y is equal to ganun din, 1 plus y prime. Hindi natin pwedeng divide ang 1 plus y prime dahil magiging 1 ito. Remember, ang hanap natin dito ay y prime. So, ang mas magandang gawin ay i-distribute itong cosine x plus y dito. So, cosine x plus y is plus y prime cosine x plus y is equal to 1 plus y prime. Okay, pagsamayin natin yung dalawang y prime, ito at uh, ito, at ilipat na rin natin itong 1. Oh. Bali, magkakaroon tayo ng cosine x plus y. Okay, ililipat natin itong positive dito kaya magiging negative 1 is equal to y prime. Ililipat natin sa kabila magiging negative y prime cosine x plus y. Okay, i-factor out natin yung y prime. Cosine x plus y minus 1 is equal to y prime multiplied by 1 minus cosine x plus y. Okay. Kailangan maging tugma yung uh, signs ng mga to para maging 1. So, mangyayari lamang yan kapag pinactor out natin ang negative either sa part na to or dito. So, let's say na dito natin i-factor out yung negative. Ito ay magiging negative. So, yung positive 1, yung negative 1 natin ay magiging positive 1. Kaya, tugma na sila. 1 minus cosine, negative cosine plus 1. It means they will become 1. So, y prime is equal to, don't forget the sign negative 1 ito na ang value ng ating number 17 number 19 
ang equation ng 19 natin ay sine x over y is equal to y over x. Okay? Remember, y prime ang hanap. I-drive na natin. Ito ay cosine x over y multiply by the derivative of the angle. So, y minus, okay, xy prime over y squared is equal to the derivative of this i x y prime minus y over x squared okay ang unang dapat gawin ay i-eliminate ang mga denominator natin so ang denominator ay y squared at x squared so multiply natin ito sa y squared x squared matitira dito ay makakansel yan x squared lang matitira so x squared cosine x over y okay y minus x y prime is equal to dito naman ay y prime y squared lang so x y prime minus y okay distribution nito sa part na to so x squared y cosine x over y minus, okay, x cube y prime, cosine x over y, is equal to x y squared y prime, minus y cube okay, pag samahin natin yung dalawang y prime, at ilipat itong y cube sa kabila, so x squared y cosine x over y, okay mag negative, magiging positive y cube, is equal to x y squared y prime okay ito ay magiging positive positive x cube y prime cosine x over y okay factor out natin yung y prime so x squared y cosine x over y plus y cube is equal to y prime x y squared plus x cube cosine x over y bali ang y prime natin ay equal to x squared y cosine x over y plus y cube over this part x y squared plus x cube cosine x over y okay kung mapapansin natin sa na buong uh, value ng y prime ay pwedeng i-factor out ang y at y sa numerator at x naman sa denominator kaya subukan natin kung mapapasimple pa natin Factor out na natin, we have y prime is equal to Factor out yung isang y lang Multiply by x squared Okay, cosine x over y plus y squared Sa denominator naman, uh, if factor out natin ang x Okay, ang natira dito ay y squared Plus okay, x squared cosine x over y kung titignan natin ay parehong may x squared, cosine x over y plus y squared sa numerator natin at denominator, it means na they will become 1. So, cancel out na lang natin. All over, ang value ng ating y prime ay x, I mean y over x multiplied by 1 or y prime is equal to y over x. Ito na ang sagot ng ating number 19. I hope na nakatulong itong video nito at kung may mga katunungan man or correction regarding to this video ay pwede kayong magtanong sa ating comment section. At huwag mong kakalungutang mag-like, share, and subscribe at i-click mo na rin yung notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga bagong YouTube tutorials o YouTube video na i-upload natin in the future.